Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. This week, we'll be showcasing some never-before-seen spine-chilling trail cam footage you wouldn't want to miss. If you love a thrill and all things mysterious, stay till the end and you'll be glad you did. We can start off today's collection with trail cam footage from Turner, Maine. The uploader of the footage set up his trail cam in the woods, hoping to capture something interesting, perhaps the Bigfoot in the area he'd heard so much about. After weeks of capturing nothing, he was almost giving up until he realized his trail cam had captured the footage you see on your screen. In the footage, you can see a bipedal creature comfortably walking through the woods. His movements are more reminiscent of a human than they are of an ape, yet he's covered in fur. You don't need to be a paranormal expert to know that we're dealing with a Bigfoot, as there are no other creatures that have the described features together. Judging by how confident the creature is moving, you can state that he didn't expect to be seen by anyone. He was very comfortable in the environment he was moving through. Perhaps it's much closer to his home. Thank God for trail cams, because we won't have captured this footage otherwise. Fortunately, the owner of the trail cam set it at a vantage point, allowing us to see the creature in its full glory. But do tell us, what do you think? Is the footage too legit, or do you think it's being tampered with? Next up, we take a trip to South Carolina. We have a capture of what has been described to be a lizard man. It's hard to discern what the creature is, but according to the one who uploaded it, it was definitely a lizard man. Just in case you don't know who or what the lizard man is, decades ago in Oregon, South Carolina, there was a hunt for a beast that was known to be vandalizing cars and attacking people. Everyone who came across the creature gave the same description. It was described as a scaly, lizard-like creature that walked on two legs. The thought of such a creature existing was a scary one, and it terrorized the residents of the area. It was eventually named the Lizard Man, yet after many decades of hunting, it's not been seen, hunted, or caught. That was at least the case until this footage popped up. This you are watching is suspected to be the only evidence of the Lizard Man. What do you think, though? Is that the Lizard Man, or are we looking at nothing but a fake? Next, we travel all the way to Indonesia to bring you this odd-looking footage. This footage was taken by a group of guys in Indonesia who'd set out into the woods for a fun night, but ended up discovering something rather odd and disturbing. If you pay attention to the footage on your screen, you'll see a strange creature in the mud. Its fur in the mud and its movements make it look very creepy. To put it mildly, I'd say it looks hideous. It looks like something that should be left alone. Yet these guys get closer and try to interact with it. As the curious men get closer, the creature also floats closer to them. That doesn't last, though, as the creature dives back into the water. This is one of those times when I've no explanation for what we see. A part of me felt like it was a sloth, but as they get closer, I started to doubt that assertion. I must admit, I doubt if the thing is even real at all, but what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Next up is footage that gives me chills. This is one piece of footage that has been on the internet for a very long time, yet it's one piece of footage that not many seem to understand or have an answer to. In the footage, we see a tall, dark figure looking at the camera from behind some trees. It's almost as though it knows it's been discovered by the trail cam and is contemplating what to do. At first glance, the creature looks like an ape, but its mannerisms soon prove that it's not. Is it some form of cryptid? Well, it could be, perhaps a Bigfoot. Whatever it is, it's hard to tell from this short footage alone. But what do you think? A Bigfoot or something else? Do you even think it's real at all? Tell us in the comments section. Next, we have another cryptid, which is stated to live and thrive in the US. However, in secrecy away from the prying eyes of human civilization. At least, that was the case until this photo was taken by a woman who was passing by the swamp at night. 
What you see on your screen is the picture she took. If you are not familiar with it, it's called the skunk monkey. It might look like Bigfoot and is typically mistaken by many to be, but it's not. Although considered a cousin of the Bigfoot, unlike Bigfoot, however, these creatures prefer to inhabit swamps and are known for their unpleasant odor, hence their name, skunk apes. Sightings of these creatures are quite rare, and to have a photograph of them is even rarer. The photo was verified by an expert in the paranormal community who stated it was real and very authentic. If that's the case, either these creatures prefer to avoid human interaction, or that woman was very lucky to have made it out of that encounter alive. Now take a good look at the tree stump right there. Keep focusing on the area till after the coyote passes by. Did you see it? The glitching, ghostly figure. It looks like a human torso appearing, disappearing, and then reappearing multiple times. There's no one around except the coyote roaming, which leaves us with one main question. What could be going on here? Well, could it be that an otherworldly creature is attempting to cross into our world, but faces barriers or interference that prevent a complete manifestation, or could it simply be ghostly creatures communicating with themselves? I mean, the on-off pattern of the ghostly creature reminds me of Morse code. Could that be what's going on here? If that's the case, who is the creature communicating with? So many questions, yet no answers to them. What do you think, though? Next, we have a series of captures from one Gonzalez who identifies as a paranormal expert. He's captured many images he believes to be a Bigfoot, and one of them is what you see on your screen at the moment. In the image, you see a tall bipedal creature with a lot of fur walking upright with a human-like gait. A closer look at the image, according to Gonzalez, reveals Bigfoot carrying a pig on his shoulder. Yeah, you heard right, a real-life pig. The Bigfoot he captured seems to have a taste for luxury and the best things in this life. Perhaps bacon is its favorite. Most of his Bigfoot pictures were captured near Avocado Lake, including what you're seeing currently. For some odd reason, though, most of his Bigfoot images are conveniently blurred, which prevents you from seeing the whole thing. It makes it hard to judge the authenticity of what you're seeing, but what do you think? Is this real or is someone trying to get his five minutes of fame? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Still on Bigfoot, check out this image that was captured by a trail cam on private property. Despite the image's lack of clarity, it appears to depict a crouched, hairy creature picking up fruit. The creature is suspected to be a Bigfoot, and that's likely the case. I mean, how many creatures in this world have similar features? The answer is none. Upon observing apples being consumed from his orchard, the property owner installed a camera in an attempt to catch the intruder. But instead of a person or even wild animals, this is the image his trail cam captured. Quite the find, huh? As much as we want to get excited as the next guy, you still have to wonder, is this image genuine and authentic, or could the property owner be manipulating the emotions of genuine Big Thud enthusiasts? Alternatively, could it possibly be a prankster in a costume intentionally misleading the owner? What are your thoughts? Next, we visit a swamp in North Queensland. Why? Take a look at this footage. What do you see? Does that look like anything you know or have seen in your life? If you answered no, then you're part of 99.9% .9 of users that were wondering what creature that was when it was uploaded online. So far, no one can tell what it is, only that the creature just emerged out of the swamp for a few minutes and then submerged back into it. Not even the staff of the tourist company who's visited the said location many times and took the footage has an idea what the creature is. Some stated it could be a whale, but come on, what would a whale be doing in a swamp? Even scientists who saw the footage were scratching their heads. What in the world could that be? A species of fish or an unknown creature that's just living in the swamps? Could it be a paranormal or otherworldly creature? At this point, it's hard to tell. 
There is a small minority of people who think that there's a possibility it's simply a hoax by the tour company whose staff posted it to get people to visit their locations. But what do you think? There is more to this world than just the things we have discovered, which is why people should learn to stay in their lane and be safe. This footage was taken by someone who was going through the woods for whatever reason and caught sight of a pair of red eyes glowing in the dark. Instead of quickly getting to safety, this person took out their camera to film the creature. If you look closely, you can see it. There in the blackness of the night, a dark figure that looks to be crawling with red glowing eyes. The shadowy figure looks like a human on all fours, but what do you think that could have been? A shadow creature, a demon, or a skinwalker? If the footage is real and it's one of these creatures, then it's safe to say that the uploader of the footage is very lucky to have made it out alive. But what do you think? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Next, we have this dark furred primate that was spotted on a trail cam. Before you dismiss it as an ape, take a critical look at the image. Do you see it? Although it bears a resemblance to a gorilla, its body proportions do not align with those of a typical gorilla or any other primate that we're familiar with. The creature has notably longer lower limbs and crouched shoulders. Its movement differs from that of a typical gorilla, as it walks upright on two feet, akin to a human. If you are a Bigfoot enthusiast like many others on this channel, then you are definitely thinking it's a relative of Bigfoot or possibly an active juvenile Bigfoot. What do you think? Next is another image of an ape-like creature that closely resembles the last image. Similar to the previous image, this creature bears some resemblance to a gorilla, but it also exhibits notable differences. The creature appears to be standing upright, just slightly hunched on the shoulders. My paranormal fanatics know this is definitely a Bigfoot, but what if it's some sort of prank? I mean, two images of similar looking creatures which are slightly different from each other are too much of a coincidence. If it's indeed a prank, it's commendable how realistic the costume appears, but if it's not a prank, then lightning has indeed struck twice at the same place. But what do you think? For our next capture, we travel back in time to Argentina in the year 2017. The image you see on your screen was reportedly taken by some teens in the woods at night. They had an eerie feeling that they were being stalked, only to realize that the creature you were seeing currently was actually stalking them. Fortunately, they were not far from civilization and managed to quickly make their way out of the woods. They met some police officers who chased the creature and lost sight of it. But what exactly is that creature? Take a closer look at the creature's slender body, elongated limbs, and those strangely shaped eyes. It's as if something extraterrestrial has entered our realm. You know what I mean, right? An alien straight out of the sci-fi movies. Do aliens really exist? Well, the footage we're witnessing seems to strongly suggest so. Maybe our planet is on the brink of an alien invasion, or perhaps they've been silently coexisting with us for centuries and we're just beginning to wake up to their presence. It would have been fascinating to learn more from the alien or whatever creature it was, but unfortunately it quickly vanished before anyone could ask a single question. Do you believe in ghosts? If your answer is no, how do you explain this trail cam capture? The owner set up this cam in a field to capture nocturnal wildlife, but little did they know it would capture something far more unexpected. Can you see the hazy figure in the darkness? It looks like a woman in a white dress. While the details of her dress remain elusive, her intense gaze directed at the camera leaves us wondering why she appears so full of anger. Was she the victim of a violent act in the forest? Is she a tormented spirit? Or is she simply disturbed by the intrusion into her sanctuary? We just can't seem to make it out. Tell us what you think in the comments section. Confused by what you're seeing? Well, so is everyone at Lion Falls who has encountered this strange and elusive creature. For decades at the Lion's Falls, there have been stories of a sea monster. Everyone who saw it gave the same description, but only the uploaders of this image were able to capture the image. 
the creature was known to slither out and into the water almost undetected. Those who have seen it stated that it looked like a giant eel or a snake with 12-inch spikes on its back, which is exactly what you were seeing in the image above. Numerous search parties and hunting expeditions have been conducted over the years to capture or observe this elusive sea creature, but all have been unsuccessful. I'm not entirely sure what kind of animal it could be, but there's an undeniable sense of danger surrounding it. Some think it's nothing to worry about, whereas other people might simply be mistaking a log for a creature in the water. But what do you think it is? Just a log in the river or something more sinister? Bigfoot hate cameras, and this camera footage confirms this already known fact. In the footage, we see the creature notice it was being filmed and run off into the bushes to avoid being taped. Although the footage may lack clarity, it's evident that the creature fleeing from the camera is anything but human, despite its uncanny resemblance in movement and behavior. It had brownish fur from head to toe, but stood on its two feet. It's not a bear because this thing was running on two feet, so another Bigfoot, but you have to wonder why their sightings have become common of late. Are they planning something? Should we be concerned? Share your thoughts in the comments section. As if ghosts and sea monsters are not enough, take a look at this. Experts found this white, slimy-looking organism floating on a swamp in Nebraska. The organism appears to be moving on its own. Scientists have not been able to come up with an explanation of how it's able to do that or what exactly the slime is and if it's even harmful at all. Now, if you have watched the movie Life, you should remember how this cute little blurb became a soul-sucking monster. This creepy slime just gives me that vibe. Next, we take a short trip to Indonesia. Snakes are naturally creepy and unsettling. Take a look at this snake, if we can even call it that. This creature looks like a snake with its forked tongue and slithery movements. That's just about how far its snake-like features go. However, what sets this creature apart is its unexpected attribute, fur. This is a new species altogether, or could it be algae growing on the snake? Tell us your thoughts. Are there extinct creatures still roaming our world undetected? This cam footage seems to suggest so. The creature you see looks like a mix of a deer and a fox. It actually does look like the Tasmanian tiger, which is thought to have gone extinct in 1936. How then could this particular one exist? Well, we don't know. If anyone has any info on this creature, do share it in the comments section. Still on creatures that should not exist, behold the giant moose. The giant moose, also known as the Alaskan moose, can grow as tall as seven feet at the shoulder, with exceptional cases reaching a staggering height of 10 feet. Yes, you heard correctly, up to 10 feet in height. The individual who captured this footage saw one of the creatures and thought he could bring it down with his bow and arrow. Taking aim, he released the arrow, striking the massive moose. Astonishingly, the creature stood back up, its powerful gaze fixed upon the hunter. In that split second, a rush of adrenaline surged through his veins and his life seemed to flash before their eyes. Fortunately, the colossal beast seemed uninterested, its eyes locked on the hunter for a lingering moment before gracefully retreating into the wilderness. What would you have done if you were the one? To conclude today's compilation, we have an intriguing puzzle for you. Did you catch a glimpse of what mysterious translucent being darted across our screen? While opinions are divided, some are convinced it's a genuine ghostly apparition while others remain skeptical, deeming it a cleverly crafted hoax. But instead of sharing my own perspective based on the evidence at hand, I'm genuinely curious to hear your thoughts. We have something that's both odd and intriguing at the same time. I mean, what would you do when you were walking in the woods and you came across this? At first glance, you might think that it's an odd-looking deer, but after a few seconds, you're likely to be spooked by the figure. It looks like a deer, 
yet its features are disproportionate and, quite frankly, disturbing and ungodly. The individual who captured this footage believed he was looking at some mutated or heavily deformed deer. Some even believed he could have been dealing with an otherworldly creature. The logical and non-believers in the supernatural believe that this is nothing more than a decoy. For those unaware, hunters like to create dummy versions of deer whenever they are hunting to attract other deers. Yes, that's a thing, and it does work. But there's no way this could be one of those. Or is there? We want to hear your theories. What do you think this strange creature could be? You think that was disturbing? Well, it pales compared to what we will show you next. What would you say about this trail cam's footage of a man weirdly moving through the forest? On second thought, no, that's definitely not how humans move. If you look closely at the trail cam footage, a figure that resembles a man suddenly emerges from the darkness moving in an unsettling way. He heads to where the trail cam is stationed. I'm sure I'm not the only one who thought he was rocking back and forth unnaturally whilst moving. As the figure, or man, or whatever you might think it is, gets closer, we can see that he's actually moving along the ground on his knees instead of on his feet. Weird. Could it be an otherworldly creature that spawned into ours and is now learning to use the human body, or could it simply be an elaborate plan by someone who knows that the trail cam stationed there simply to try to scare its owner? Personally, I believe that the creature we're seeing in this footage is not of this world because it's very unlikely that someone would go to such lengths to scare the owner of a trail cam in the middle of the night deep in the woods. I highly doubt it, but tell us what you think in the comments section. Picture this. You set out to capture adorable footage of baby bear cubs only to accidentally capture something far more sinister. The dog man. Now, here's the question. Would you dare return to that area or would you keep your distance for good? Confused? Allow me to set the stage and explain what happened. The owner of this trail cam footage had been closely monitoring a pregnant bear, not with the intention of hunting or harming it, but simply to capture the precious moments of its cub's birth. When the time was ripe and the cubs were about to arrive, he strategically placed his trail camera near the bear's den, hoping to capture breathtaking footage of the newborns. He returned later to see that the cubs had been born and decided to review the footage the trail cam had captured. However, what he witnessed was nothing short of ominous and horrifying. He expected to see cubs, but what he saw on his screen was a creature of nightmares. The creature on the screen appeared to be a peculiar blend of man and canine, a fearsome hybrid that couldn't be categorized as a full-blooded wolf or dog, yet exuded a savage aura. It certainly wasn't a werewolf since there was no sign of a full moon on the day the recording was made. Bewildered and seeking answers, he turned to the online community for assistance. When the paranormal experts caught wind of the footage, they instantly recognized the truth. They knew exactly what it was. The man had unwittingly captured one of the clearest and closest images we have of the elusive dogman creature. Even the scientific community, typically skeptical of such claims, couldn't refute this evidence. The man had narrowly escaped a chilling encounter with the dogman, truly spine tickling, don't you think? Now, imagine yourself in his shoes. Would you have had the courage to venture back into those same woods? Would you venture into the woods if you suspected Bigfoot was lurking there? Many of you probably answered with a resounding no. However, the owner of this extraordinary footage turning away was simply not an option. However, for the owner of this extraordinary footage, turning away was simply not an option. Allow me to tell you her remarkable story. It was during a turkey hunting expedition when she spotted two unfamiliar figures moving ahead of her. As she focused her gaze, she quickly realized that these beings, although moving like humans, were far from human in appearance. Their bodies were covered in an abundance of hair that surpassed anything a typical human could possess. Even the hairiest individuals wouldn't come close to their level of hairiness. There was a larger, more muscular figure, likely a male, and a relatively smaller one, presumably female. 
The male seems to have a relatively small being, possibly a baby Bigfoot. Naturally, she was startled and scared, but instead of fleeing the scene, she took out a camera and recorded them. Why do people even do this? What if those beings noticed her? What if she wasn't alone in encountering them? What if they harbored aggressive tendencies and were open to the idea of harming or even devouring her? Fortunately, we need not imagine the outcome of such scenarios as she survived the encounter and we now possess this remarkable footage. But now, let me pose a question to you. What would you have done in that harrowing situation? We've encountered our fair share of spine-chilling creatures, but nothing quite like the one before us. I mean, seriously, what on earth could this creature be? If you're at a loss for words, don't worry, you're not alone. A fan on this channel was going through the woods when he suddenly heard eerie sounds. These weren't your typical forest noises, they were wild and ferocious, like nothing he'd ever experienced in all his years of venturing into the wilderness. It was crystal clear to him that his life hung in the balance and he needed no one to tell him this. Naturally, he became attentive and heightened his senses. He was not going to let whatever the creature was take him by surprise. He had to live. He had to get back to his family. Suddenly, the environment went silent. Too silent. It was as though time had stopped and everything was moving in bullet time. As much as he would have loved this to mean all was well, and he had nothing to worry about, he knew better. This was the calm right before the storm, and he was right. Out of nowhere, a creature emerged from the depths of the woods a few hundred meters away from him. He strained to discern the nature of this enigmatic being, but his words failed him. It possessed a lion-like face coupled with a body that bore human-like features, albeit excessively hairy and reminiscent of an ape. Fortunately, the creature appeared more interested in intimidation than in pursuing him, allowing him to escape unharmed. In a stroke of luck, he managed to capture this image, which he eagerly sent us for analysis. Our team has dedicated days to deciphering the true nature of this enigma, scouring through countless folklore references, yet we find ourselves at a loss, unable to definitively identify the creature. Trust me when I say we've encountered and studied a vast array of folklore, we have no option but to pass it on to you. Do you know what creature this is, or do you think the whole thing is a hoax? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. If you walked into the woods and saw men whiter or paler than usual, you'd surely think that there was something wrong with them. You're even likely to think ghost or a vampire. But what happens when it's not humans or animals that you have seemingly gone white? more specifically, turkeys. Well, there are two types of responses. The first is awe and wonder at the magnificence and uniqueness of these birds, which many might share. Picture this. I'm out exploring these mysterious woods, and suddenly I stumble upon a flock of white turkeys feeding. Can you blame me for a feeling of surge of adrenaline? I certainly think that my life was in danger. The scientific community does not think that anything strange or paranormal is happening here. Instead, they believe the turkeys we are seeing are suffering from an uncommon mutation known as leucism, which is known to result in reduced pigmentation, giving birds white or patchy feathers. This explanation does seem logical, although part of me still wants to embrace the mysterious and paranormal. But what do you think, though? Have you had any experience with birds of this nature? So, I asked ChatGPT a simple question. What are the chances of moss growing into the shape of a gnome? And you know what it said? It said it's almost impossible, but guess what? We've got some mind-blowing footage straight from the woods that defies all odds. A lady was out exploring the woods when she came across this mass of moss shaped like a gnome. Naturally, this caught her attention and she tried to take a closer look. Little did she know that this is where things took an eerie turn. She swore the moss moved and looked at her. Unfortunately, the video doesn't really capture the movement, leaving us desperate for a glimpse of this mysterious moss gnome in action. Could it be that the moss didn't move at all, or the video quality is so poor that we can't spot the subtle movements of the moss? Whatever the case, we can't help but wonder how the moss grew into that shape. Is that a hint that gnomes are actually real? Could she have been exploring an area where they live? Share your thoughts with us as well as any encounters with them in the comments section. 
This image was posted by a man online. At first glance, it looks like a harmless photo of a tourist capturing and documenting his travels. But look again. Do you see it? There's an ape-like creature just behind the man. As expected, everyone who saw the image couldn't help but draw the man's attention to the creature captured in this photo. He had taken the picture in the Piranha Delta area, and according to him, the particular area he took that picture is known by the locals to have ape-like creatures that are as common as they are elusive in that area. Well, you can imagine the excitement that sparked amongst Bigfoot enthusiasts who were wondering if the elusive creature could be there as well. Well, Bigfoot has been linked to North America. Not many has considered its presence in South America until now. Turns out, that's a mistake, as there was a lot of evidence in South America about the existence of Bigfoot. Early settlers and explorers of the region had encountered strange, hairy, and giant men and named their towns after them like Patagonia, which is not too far from where the picture was taken. Patagonia had the largest variations of these creatures which we suspect to be Bigfoot. But let me tell you, these larger variations of the creature are even more elusive. And can you blame them? They are probably Bigfoot after all. Perhaps it's time to unite Bigfoot enthusiasts from around the world in an international Bigfoot convention. Who knows what we might uncover about these mysterious creatures from the various civilizations. Imagine stumbling upon laminated posters of missing persons eerily taped to trees in a secluded and rarely visited part of the woods. How would you know how to react? I know I would panic and quickly get out of there. But against all instincts, the owner of this footage felt an irresistible urge to document the chilling sight, pulling out his camera to capture what lay before him. As he filmed, a wave of fear washed over him, gradually realizing that these were not random postings, but deliberate placements by an unknown individual. How recent, he could tell, but he rushed out of the place to get to the police. The police swiftly arrived at the scene, investigating the situation, collecting evidence, and questioning James, the owner of the footage. Surprisingly, they seemed unfazed, dismissing it as a harmless Halloween prank. Given that it was early October, they assumed that it was an extreme Halloween prank, or something despite the undeniable reality of the missing persons depicted on the posters. James returned to the area after a few months to investigate the site. In this subsequent return to the area, James made a bone-chilling second discovery. The missing person posters had been replaced with ominous, no trespassing notes. This confirmed his suspicions. There was absolutely no way this could have been an elaborate Halloween prank. James could have also sworn that the laminated posters he saw must have been there for months before he discovered the site. To him, coming across them before Halloween was merely a coincidence. But what do you think? Do you think James is making a big deal out of nothing, or could something sinister be going on? Perhaps a serial killer at large in the woods? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Have you ever seen a skunk fight another animal? If you haven't, then you are in luck, because that's exactly what this footage is about. A man had set up a trail cam just in front of his feeder, hoping to capture something of the wildlife that fed from it. We see two animals in the footage, a skunk and an opossum, who both happen to arrive at the feeder at the same time. Who gets to eat first? Well, it seems like the animals have a hard time deciding that. The opossum had arrived first and started eating when the skunk also arrived. But you have to understand that the skunk is a regular there, and hence has some level of seniority. The possum didn't, however, care and kept on eating as much as he could. Getting frustrated, the skunk tried chasing it off and got bitten on the butt twice. Now, I know what you're thinking. A skunk got bitten twice on the butt and didn't spray any of its foul-smelling juices. Yes, that's exactly what you heard. But why? Contrary to what many people think, skunks don't just spray anyhow. Many assume they do, which is why they run immediately after they see a skunk coming. The skunk in this video, however, didn't want to spray and kept trying to chase the possum away through other means because it knew that the moment it sprayed, it would ruin the food for itself as well and didn't want that. In fact, skunks don't generally spray around any food source. Perhaps the possum knew this fact, which is why it called the skunk's bluff and bit it several times. Interesting, huh? Can trees move? If you answered with a firm no, then you shared the same thoughts as the person behind this perplexing footage. 
He witnessed a shadowy figure that he initially thought was a tree moving from one spot to the other, as though it didn't want him to notice it. Naturally, he was left puzzled and bewildered. But if it wasn't really a tree, then what in the world was he looking at? Now, you have to understand that he was moving around at dawn, so visibility was on the low side, and given how early it was, he became very frightened. There was a creature lurking around, and he couldn't tell what kind of creature it was. I know, I would be scared too. Thankfully, the creature seemed uninterested in him, merely seeking to evade his presence. However, for reasons that often baffle us, he decided to return to that very location a few days later. Why do people make such choices? Why would one willingly go back to a perilous spot, knowing full well what danger awaits? Nevertheless, on his second visit, the creature ensured it made its presence known, and emitted peculiar sounds unlike anything the man had ever heard from any familiar creature. Take a moment to listen to it. The instant he heard these sounds, he had his confirmation. The encounter was real, and the entity in the woods with him was undoubtedly non-human. But what could it be? While he couldn't provide a definitive answer, he held one suspicion. Bigfoot. Do you believe that there are occult groups living among us? Well, if you didn't, prepare to have your worldview shaken by this compelling footage. Take a look at the figure dancing, or whatever it is, in the woods, donning a hood and surrounded by an eerie silence. No audience, no music, just this lone individual. The TikToker named Brian Young who posted this video stumbled upon this surreal scene while exploring the woods. Naturally, it wasn't just a startling sight, it sent shivers down his very spine. If you listen closely to Brian's commentary in the video, you'll understand just how unnerved he was. Let's focus on the mysterious figure in the video. What do you think he was doing? Could it be some form of initiation for aspiring occult members? Or perhaps an attempt to summon something or someone? We've witnessed countless horrors and occult movies where scenes like this unfold, but can't seem to place our finger on it. Do tell us what you think. We'd love to hear it. When we set out to compile a list of captivating captures and intriguing footage, I never anticipated stumbling upon something as baffling as a deer with a bucket lodged in its antlers. Yes, you heard that right, there's a bucket on its antlers, and even seeing it, it's still hard to believe it's real. Sure, we've encountered deer with foliage entangled in their antlers before, a natural and understandable part of wildlife, but how on earth do we explain this? Was the bucket intentionally placed there by someone, or did it accidentally become wedged when the deer wandered through human possessions? Intrigued by this peculiar sight, I delved into some research and discovered that far too often, deer end up with objects trapped in their antlers due to human interference. Personally, this realization leaves me with a sense of discomfort. We're already causing substantial harm to our planet, and this should never become an accepted norm. Dear lives matter too. Next, we have this very disturbing trail cam capture of a deer. We've seen a lot of deer footage today, but none compares to this bloody trail cam capture of the deer's face. What could have happened to this deer to leave it with such a bloody face? I mean, it looks as though it suffered a serious wound. Had it been involved in a serious fight with another deer, or gotten stabbed with its antlers? While some think this might be the case, some experts think it might not be blood at all, but the velvet of the deer falling off to reveal the heart and antlers of the deer. Which of these possible scenarios do you actually think it is? I've never seen an alien before, but if you were to ask me what an alien looked like, I would certainly imagine it to be something like this. This footage was not, however, taken in space or on the moon. Instead, it was captured by the trail cam in the Royal National Park of Sydney. Yes, it was taken on Earth. Many in the paranormal community who saw this footage believed that if the creature was not an alien, it had to be an otherworldly creature that had somehow become visible in our dimension. A closer look at the image reveals the alien-looking creature was actually riding on another one, which looked like a boar. Many doubted the existence of the creature, saying it was a hoax, until a second trail cam video popped up. 
this time with clearer footage of a creature that looks like what was first disputed. If all you noticed in this footage was the caribou running, I wouldn't blame you. The owner of this particular footage had possessed it for a staggering 16 years without realizing there was something peculiar lurking within. It wasn't until he uploaded the video online that the paranormal community identified something the man himself hadn't noticed. Upon closer examination of the footage, you'll notice a dark, shadowy figure trailing behind the caribou. The figure moves with remarkable speed, almost as if it's using the caribou as a form of camouflage. Now, why is this significant, you may ask? Well, upon analyzing the video, experts estimate that the creature must be at least eight feet tall to stand out the way it does and cover such a considerable distance in such a short span of time. Now, consider this. Throughout the entire history of mankind, there have been very few individuals who have measured up to eight feet in height. And when it comes to other creatures and animals, aside from the likes of pythons, giraffes, polar bears, elephants, or even ostriches, it's highly unlikely to encounter beings even remotely as tall. So what could this enigmatic creature be? It exhibits fur covering its entire body, walks on two legs, and displays signs of remarkable intelligence. Does that ring any bells? You guessed it, Bigfoot. The paranormal community is fairly confident that what we're witnessing here is none other than Bigfoot. What do you think? Next, we have a trail cam capture of what I can only describe as an evil looking creature. At first glance, you might be tempted to think it's a human playing pranks or even cosplay. But as you go through the capture, it becomes painfully apparent that this is no ordinary being. Its pale and hairless skin, along with its sunken eyes, long limbs, sharp claw-like fingers, and eerie way of moving, brings to mind a mythical creature known as the rake. Now, when I say the rake, I'm not referring to the tool you use on your lawns. No, this creature is far more vile and dangerous, with few who encounter it ever living to tell the tale. The origins of this creature remain shrouded in mystery. Some speculate it's the result of a science experiment gone wrong, while others believe it's a human cursed to forever remain in this horrifying form. This chilling footage was captured by a trail cam set up by an older couple residing in the remote regions of Ohio. But why would such a creature venture into Ohio? Could someone be deliberately trying to frighten them? Well, if they lived in the city, we could make that assumption, but they resided far from anyone who would engage in such pranks. This can only mean one thing. What we are witnessing is the real deal. Now let's talk about aliens. Yes, aliens. Don't think they are real? Well, that's only because you haven't seen the next footage. Did you catch it? Did you witness those intricate crop circles materialize out of thin air and those two mysterious dots gracefully gliding above them? Could they be more than mere specks? What if I told you they were actually extraterrestrial spaceships? Now, I understand if you're skeptical, you wouldn't be the first. This footage dates back to the 1900s, precisely the year 1996. When the man who captured this astonishing video shared it with his contemporaries, they dismissed it as a mere product of video editing. But hold on, was such advanced editing even possible in the 90s? Sure, if you had access to expensive equipment and extensive training, which the man in question lacked. Could he have had it edited earlier? Well, not exactly. The only way that's possible is if he employed people to create the circle after he'd edited the video because the crop circles were discovered exactly where he filmed the footage when his colleagues investigated the site. It leaves us wondering why they didn't believe him. Could the presence of extraterrestrial beings have somehow influenced their skepticism? The answer remains elusive. Guess we'll never know. If there's one thing the Bigfoot and Sasquatch family hate, it's being caught on camera. But despite their aversion, we've a captivating trail cam capture to show you. Take a close look and you'll notice a blurry image of a white ape-like creature. Now, can you guess where this intriguing image was taken from? It's a challenging one and I doubt anyone got it right. Brace yourself for the surprise. It was actually taken from none other than the city of Portland's official website, portland.gov. But here's the twist. They've refused to disclose the exact location where the trail cam captured this fascinating Bigfoot. The reason? To protect the creature, of course. 
So what do you think? Could there really be a Bigfoot roaming out there? Or is this all part of an elaborate marketing ploy to lure us to visit Portland? And why is it that whenever anybody captures pictures of Bigfoot or photographs or videos of Bigfoot, the images are always blurry? I'm eager to hear your thoughts. If you're someone who believes that fairies belong solely to the realm of fairy tales, then you might want to rethink that notion after watching this astonishing trail cam footage. Take a good look. Doesn't it resemble a fairy gracefully lifting off? The size seems just about right, and the video doesn't appear to be edited. Even experts seem to agree with this assessment. Could this be the actual first ever real-life footage of a fairy? It's a mind-boggling possibility. However, as usual, the scientific community, the ever-vigilant skeptics, don't seem to share our view. They always find a way to discredit and dampen the excitement of every paranormal discovery we stumble upon. And, well, who can blame them? So what's their explanation this time? According to them, the phenomenon captured in the footage is attributed to a large lunar moth. These creatures are typically green in color, but since the trail cam footage is in black and white, we can't definitively say if it's a lunar moth or not, but it probably is. But here's the big question. Could this be the real deal or a genuine fairy caught on camera? I thoroughly doubt it. It's more likely just a lunar moth, as the scientific community insists. We eagerly await your thoughts and opinions. Share them in the comments section below. Can we call this video a comic relief moment? While it's true that an unexpected animal falling into the water can often be amusing, it becomes challenging to label it as such when we witness the panic and concern of the calf's parents. Even the elephants in the neighboring pen are displaying signs of worry. This footage reveals a side of these magnificent creatures that many don't often get to see. Yes, they're large and powerful, but they also possess an incredible level of empathy an aspect this video perfectly exemplifies. Imagine venturing through the dark and unfamiliar woods at night with the knowledge that a sinister creature is stalking your every move. Now picture lifting your eyes and coming face to face with a chilling sight like this, a distant figure with glowing eyes. I don't know about you, but personally, I made it abundantly clear on this channel that I'm not one to stick around and find out what such a creature looks like or whether it poses a danger. I'm grabbing my belongings and getting the hell out of there without hesitation. The individuals who captured this footage were simply clueless about the creature's identity. Based on the knowledge of mythology and a careful examination of the video, I'm highly convinced that the group in question were being stalked by a specter. If this entity is indeed a spectre, as my team and I believe, then those who encountered it are incredibly fortunate to have escaped with their lives at all. Would you ever consider bringing your car to a screeching halt in the middle of a highway just before you spotted a shirtless man in the woods from a distance? Personally, I wouldn't take that risk, but the person behind this footage has a different perspective. He believed it was a noble thing to do and without hesitation parked his car, set his camera rolling, and embarked on a mission to reach the man. He called out hoping to have an intelligent conversation with the man, but little did he know that his expectations would be shattered in an instant. Hey, how you doing? Oh, just some cruisers, man. That's crazy. He's crawling at me like... What's up, dude? The man started moving, but not by walking or any recognizable means. No, the shirtless man crawled towards him, limbs trembling. Like a ghastly zombie from reminiscent nightmares. And also, he was contorted. The protagonist, who had gone to offer his help, soon realized that he was but an ordinary man, and just like a thunderbolt, his survival instincts kinked into high gear. With no time to spare, he ran for his dear life, heart pounding, fueled by pure adrenaline. Now, let me pose this question to you. What would you have done in that bone-chilling situation? Have you ever had the chance to encounter a skunk ape? If your answer is no, you're definitely not alone. Personally, I hadn't even heard of these creatures until I stumbled upon this incredible trail cam video. Apparently, they're a variation of Bigfoot dwelling deep within the swamps of Florida. Talk about discovering something wild, right? These elusive creatures have a preference for solitude, and they're said to reach a towering height of at least eight feet. If that doesn't scream Bigfoot, well, I don't know what would. 
The footage you're witnessing was captured nearly a decade ago, adding to the intrigue and mystery surrounding these fascinating beings. Have you ever heard of or encountered a skunk ape before? We're genuinely curious and eager to know your stories. Next up, we delve into the mysterious realm of Dewey Lake, Michigan and its elusive monster. If you haven't yet heard of this creature, don't worry, you're not alone. It's been buried deep in the annals of local lore, dismissed by many as nothing more than an old wife's tale. But what if I told you that there's compelling footage that challenges the prevailing beliefs? Some were quick to label the creature in the footage as an ordinary ape, but upon closer examination, it becomes clear that this is no ape. The way it moves, the peculiar texture of its fur, it defies all conventional explanations. However, there's one creature that perfectly matches the description of the monster of Dewey Lake. The elusive Sasquatch is believed to roam the area, hidden away from prying eyes. Until now, no one had ever caught a glimpse of or interacted with this enigmatic being. That is, until this captivating footage emerged. So what are your thoughts? Is this authentic evidence of the monster of Dewey Lake, or could it be an intricately crafted hoax? I invite you to share your theories and opinions in the comments section below. Together, let's unravel the mystery. Still on the topic of Bigfoot, let's journey to Minerva, Ohio. Now imagine this scenario. Your kids excitedly run up to you claiming they've spotted Bigfoot roaming your property. Naturally, you dismiss their claims as nothing more than their active imagination, right? That's precisely what the owner of this captivating footage did. That was at least the case until he saw the dark creature lurking around the woods close to his home while working the fields with a neighbor of his. You can imagine the shock and disbelief both men felt. For the one who sent the capture, he realized how much danger he had potentially put himself and his family in by not believing or paying attention to his kids. Suddenly, it all began to make sense. The mysterious pile of dead chickens they had discovered. It wasn't the work of coyotes or bobcats. The Bigfoot was responsible. They now had an idea where the eerie howls that had baffled them for so long came from. It had to be the elusive Bigfoot. And here is where things get even more intriguing. Soon after the owner's personal encounter, his trail cam managed to capture the image you see before you. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? Unbelievable evidence that adds another layer of mystery to the existence of the Bigfoot. Wild, huh? Have you ever experienced that chilling sensation that your life hangs by a thread? Not the fleeting discomfort of closing your eyes in the shower, but something far more sinister and more unnerving. This is precisely what the individual who captured this spine-tingling footage felt when venturing through the dense woods with his faithful dog. Overwhelmed by a deep sense of dread, they came to a sudden halt, scanning their surroundings for any sign of danger. And then, there it was, an ominous presence lurking just behind their pet two glowing eyes fixated on them. He made it out of the place safely, somehow, but went back during the day to make sure he'd actually seen what he'd seen. Why do people do this? Once again, I don't understand. If you had footage, it was there. Why go back? Either way, he found the creature the second time and confirmed that it was indeed there. It didn't, however, look like anything from our world. From the footage, we can tell it looks otherworldly. Yet we can't seem to make it out from any of the myths and folklore we know. This is where we turn to you. Can you help us unveil the identity of this enigmatic being? Share your insights, theories, and speculations. We'd love to hear it. Think that was peculiar. Brace yourself for this next footage. Throughout my experiences, I've used the word zombie in various contexts, but never did I fathom it applying to a deer. However, when you see this footage, you'll understand why zombie is an apt description. Is it really a zombie, though? We had to seek the help of the scientific community for this one, and here's what we discovered. The deer in question is afflicted by a condition known as cutaneous fibromas, or more commonly, deer warts. Although these hairless tumors may not be as painful as they appear, they unquestionably lead to a diminished quality of life for the affected deer. Looking at this deer, we don't need a vet's opinion to know that this is a severe and very uncomfortable case for the deer. There's not much we can do, which makes it all the more sad. 
Still on deer, have you ever seen a number of them gathered around a trail cam before? Well, we haven't, especially with them all gazing at the trail cam as though they were posing for a group photo. I don't know why this worries me so much. Does anyone else find this peculiar, or is it just me? Here's one intriguing thought to consider. Could it be that these deer possess a level of intelligence beyond our expectations? Could it be possible that these deer intentionally conceal their true abilities, keeping their schemes and plans hidden from us? Am I starting to sound paranoid? I feel like I am, but think about it. There's little we know about our world after all. Now let's dive back into the captivating world of Bigfoot. Picture this. Residents of Seattle suddenly find themselves haunted by eerie and unexplainable noises echoing from deep within the nearby woods. For those who live close to the woods, the sounds were nothing short of bone-chilling, striking fear and unease into the hearts of those who dwelled close to the woods. At first, many speculated that these mysterious sounds might be the work of bears. However, this notion was swiftly discarded, as what they were hearing was more ominous and much louder than anything they're accustomed to hearing bears make. What, then, could be responsible? The answer is in the footage you see currently. If you look closely, you'll see a dark, humanoid, yet ape-like creature trying to get away, knowing that it might have been spotted. Although the residents managed to capture additional footage, it's been heavily zoomed in, adding to the challenge of deciphering the enigmatic figure within. The residents, however, know what they had seen. They understood why the sounds they heard were so ominous. There was a new big boy in town, and his name was Bigfoot. Everyone knows that life in the wild is a survival game. You either do your best to survive or you become someone's family dinner, and this deer knows that too well. At first glance, you'd be forgiven to assuming that the deer we're about to witness has met its untimely demise, but prepare to have your assumptions challenged. Those hunting it got close and realized it was not. Yes, they'd shot it, yes, it was bleeding, and yes, it was down, but it was not yet out. When they got close enough to take pictures and afterwards carry the spoils of their hunt home, the deer sprang up and ran. Could it have been pretending so it was left alone? Could it have been in shock and just jumped up when they got close? Would it even survive at all? If you're an experienced hunter, we'd love to hear your insights on this captivating scenario. Join the discussion and share your thoughts with us. When this image was sent to us, I thought we were dealing with a stick bug. That was at least until I took a critical look at the whole image and realized it was neither a stick bug nor the size of one. I've no idea why I thought that because we can see a coyote running away from it. The owner of the trail camera was equally perplexed by the footage. They couldn't make sense of what they were seeing and decided to seek the answers. After conducting extensive research for days, they came up empty-handed. There doesn't seem to be any mythical creature resembling this peculiar being. Could this be an entirely new form of otherworldly creature? Where did it come from? Why is it here? What does it want? And most intriguingly, why is the coyote running? Is this creature a threat to coyotes, or does it have a taste for even humans? The truth is, we simply don't know. However, our quest for answers won't cease until we have unraveled this enigma. Rest assured, once we uncover the mystery, we'll dedicate an entire video to it. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, now is the perfect time to join the adventure. Subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell as well, so you'll be the first to know when we upload the exclusive new videos. Returning to our trail cam videos, at first glance, this trail cam capture appears to be an innocent shot of the horizon, with a raccoon running around the field. But take a second look and you'll notice something intriguing, an array of lights illuminating the sky. What could those lights possibly be? The owner of the trail camera was just as clueless as everyone else. However, upon sharing the capture with others, a common suspicion emerged. It had to be aliens. The next capture, which shows the lights descending closer to the ground, only solidified this belief among all who witnessed it. But could this be aliens, though? The scientific community, always eager to burst the bubble of paranormal enthusiasts, proposes two explanations. The first is that it could be a satellite, but this hesitation was revised due to the movement of the lights. The second theory suggests that the lights might be cobwebs. Interestingly, other trail cam users tend to agree with the cobwebs theory. But what do you think? Cobwebs or aliens? Let us know in the comments section. 
If you've watched movies or played games, then you're probably familiar with the concept of animals and plants getting mutated due to exposure to nuclear radiation. But does that apply to real life? If you've seen the red trees in the exclusion zone of Chernobyl, then you'll know that it does. But what about animals? While there are some examples I can use, take a look at this creature that looks like a cross between a canine and a wolf. There are rumors that this is an image taken from Chernobyl. It's even been nicknamed the Dogman of Chernobyl. Unlike the Dogman, which is a supernatural creature, this is purely considered the result of heavy radiation. Many think it's a wolf that has been mutated by the radiation in Chernobyl to look like it does. Of course, the government denies that this is real, but what do you think? Imagine going on a trip and documenting each instant of it, including the various scenery and snow covered, only to discover that this was a creature standing on one of the Alps. Knowing how far you are, you know that this has to be a pretty tall creature for it to be visible. If you take a look at this footage, you see exactly that. But what could that creature at the top of the Alp be? No one can say for sure, which is why the group of friends uploaded it online. Some in the online community who saw it thought it was a yeti, while others thought it was probably a tree and nothing special. To get to the bottom of this, the friends went back up, and guess what? It was no longer there. If it was a tree, it would still be there, and how would a tree survive there anyway? But if it's not there, and it really is a creature, then we have a confirmation of the existence of the yeti. Or what do you think? Have you come across a mutant deer with two heads? If you answered no, today's your lucky day. Enjoy the footage. As much as I'd love to believe that somewhere there's a Siamese deer or the deer in the footage is one, the facts do not align in that direction. What you see is purely the result of an illusion and nothing more. Had the individual who took the footage moved to a different point, it would have been very apparent. But she was equally as confused and perplexed as you, so we're going to let this one slide. Can you guess the identity of these three mysterious flying objects? Well, if your answer was aeroplanes, you might want to think again. We seldom have our aircraft flying in such formations, and they don't glow like these ones did. The person who captured this footage shared it online, and many others shared aircraft moving in similar formations in their locality. Neither knew what it really was, but all were convinced that they had just seen spacecraft. Not ones manufactured by us, but possibly by aliens. What do you think? Do you believe there are aliens among us, or is there a perfectly logical explanation for this phenomenon? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. This made many reconsider their original idea of it being a hoax. You have been presented with both bits of footage. What do you think, hoax or real? What would you do if instead of capturing wild and interesting animals, your trail cam captured a scary looking man wielding what looks like a cutting tool? Not only is his appearance naturally intimidating, but he also had a mask on that makes him look like a horror film villain. It looked as though he was waiting for someone, probably his next victim. The funny thing is, people have been reported going missing in the same woods. Those who escaped this captor stated that he was a mutant out for blood. Is he the man we see in the trail cam footage, the very one they speak of, or is there another one? Truth is, we may never know, but one thing's for sure, someone like me is not going into those woods alone. But what do you think? Do you see those glowing eyes in the darkness? Do you believe they're real and actual glowing eyes or the red and green eye effect associated with pictures taken in low light conditions? Although my logical mind wants to believe that it's simply the eyes of a deer reflecting light in low light conditions, the next footage of another deer in a similar situation debunks that theory. If you'll take a critical look at each bit of footage, you will realize that there are other glowing eyes behind them. The final bit of footage shows two eyes behind another deer with what looks like the silhouette of a giant toad. But many who have seen the footage don't think it is. They do believe it's an actual spaceship that was scouting the farm area this trail cam footage was captured in. Taking a critical look at the image, you can actually picture a spaceship existing in the background with its lights behind that which was captured by the trail camera. But what do you think though? Do deer have something strange and ominous going on with them, or is everything merely a coincidence? Let me know in the comments section. Morse code revolutionized. 
Morse code revolutionized communication with the invention of the telegraph, but have you ever wondered what forms of communication spirits and otherworldly creatures might use? Up until now, we didn't have an answer, but that all changed when we came across this astonishing trail cam footage. Take a closer look at the footage. What do you see? Notice that ghostly being that fades in and out of reality. Now, take a closer look. There's a second one, too. What if these apparitions aren't just fading in and out randomly? What if each fade in and fade out and the duration of each phase carries a profound meaning? What if it's a form of spiritual Morse code? I know it might sound far-fetched, but consider this. There's so much we still don't understand about the paranormal, and when you watch this footage, there's simply no other way to explain what's happening. It's a mind-boggling mystery begging for explanation. This footage may not have been captured by a trail cam, but let me assure you it's just as intriguing as anything you'd see in the wild. Imagine waking up to find your compound in disarray, with trash scattered everywhere. That's exactly what happened to this family. Curiosity peaked, they turned to their security camera footage for answers, and what they saw left them utterly stunned. At first glance, they thought it was a wild animal, perhaps a bear. But as they closely examined the video, they realized that they were witnessing something far more extraordinary, a wolf with a human-like body emerging from their neighbor's property. What made it even more chilling was the fact that the previous night had been a full moon. Could they be living in the close proximity of an actual werewolf? The family couldn't say for sure, but they decided to share the footage online, hoping someone could confirm their suspicions. However, uploading the footage may not have been the best move. Now, if their neighbor truly is a werewolf, he knows that they're onto his trail. Who knows how much longer they have before he decides to act in a peculiar manner. As you watch the footage, I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you make of this mysterious encounter? Personally, I can't help but feel that uploading the footage may have put the family in greater danger. Normally, rabbits and hares are prey for snakes, which is what makes this footage incredibly captivating. Despite lacking built-in mechanisms to deal with snakes, the rabbits or hare in this video was putting up a fierce defense, determined to keep the snakes away from its territory. It makes you wonder, could there be young ones nearby? Is the brave rabbit or hare doing everything it can to protect its vulnerable offspring from harm? The maternal instincts of these animals can be truly remarkable. Have you witnessed similar behavior in rabbits or hares before? Share your stories in the comments section. Also, can you confirm if it's a hare or a rabbit? I always mix them up. And now we have something utterly cute and heartwarming. Get ready to melt from the sheer adorableness of this video featuring a wolf pup trying to help. Trust me, it's absolutely irresistible. As you watch this little ball of fur and in innocence attempting to mimic the majestic howls of its elders, you can't help but be captivated by its pure cuteness. It's moments like these that remind us of the simple joys and wonders of nature. Sit back, relax, and prepare to have your heart warmed as you witness this endearing sight. Remember to embrace the precious moments of cuteness that make life so incredibly special, and we'll see you in the next one.